What? There's no sound in space? Well, that's because space requires a medium. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the science of waves. From Beethoven to jackhammers, here we go. Welcome to MathGuide.com, where education, technology, and mathematics intersect. Brought to you by GigaGod Productions. So we're going to be talking about a sine curve, so I'm going to sketch a sine curve. Yeah. All right, not so easy to do with the tablet, but I'm going to give it a shot. And so the sine curve arcs up goes through the x-axis, arcs down, come back, it comes back to the x-axis. Now, of course, the curve keeps doing this left and right forever. Um, I don't really care about the amplitude of the curve because that would be volume. I'm just trying to figure out if we know the wavelength, the length of one cycle of the curve, how do we then write a sinusoid, write the sinusoid function to match our graph? Okay, so that's the question, right? How do you do this? Well, let's say that we have a, a certain note, a musical note, and it's 80 centimeters in length, okay? So it starts and ends, and it takes 80 centimeters to do it. So how are we going to write this thing? So what we're going to do first is start with a formula. There's a formula we use, and the formula says this. All right. This formula is very useful because if we try to get in a, a function like a sinusoid, our sinusoid function is going to have, well, I'm not going to use x. I'm using theta because on my website, the quiz master uses theta. Okay, so I'm not using x. I'm actually using theta and y are the two variables, where the y represents the height of the graph and uh, the theta represents the longitudinal part of the graph. And, of course, b is some parameter. Now, um, b and the period are wrapped up together in this uh, relationship period equals 2 pi divided by b. I'm not using 360, I'm using 2 pi because uh, I'm not talking about an angle here, really. I'm not talking about um, degrees. I'm not, so when you're using a number like this, it's customary to use the 2 pi. All right, well, first of all, if I use this equation um, for our function, I know that the period or the length, the wavelength, that's the period, the length of one cycle, is 80. So I'm going to put down 80, and I've got to put 2 pi over b. This is a proportion. Yep. There you go. See? I told you it was. And what we're going to do is cross multiply when we're solving these proportions. So I'm going to do 80 times b is 80b. I'm going to take 2 pi times 1. That's 2 pi. All right, so our objective, of course, is to figure out what the B value is. So I'm going to divide both sides by 80 using this simple algebra. Okay, now I could reduce this relationship, right? 2 over 80 reduces to 1 over 40. So I get pi over 40. So that means I've got the B value, and we've got our equation. So our equation is sine... And then we got our b value. Our b value is pi over 40 times theta. Sometimes people write the theta and the pi together in the numerator. Some people put parentheses around this b value. There's a lot of different ways that you could uh, write, that, write that function. But there you have it. Some people like to use x for the independent variable. But I'm specifically using theta because the quiz master I have will check to see if you know how to do it and the quiz master uses theta. I'm going to put that link for the quiz master in the description uh, of the video so you could find that link and you could check it out and you could test yourself to see if you now understand this. It's a fairly simple relationship uh, and it's not that hard to use really. Some simple math going on there. All right, so make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out our hundreds of lessons, 
quiz masters, and videos. You're not going to be disappointed. You know, when people go to a sports game and they do the wave, are they doing the sinusoid? Cosine? I really think about these things a lot. Hey, hit that like button. What are you waiting for? Come on. Help out a brother, will you? Just sit there.